It is time for 2018 Donner's Optic Football Full Case Number Six. Alrighty. So there is the list. Abraham, you know the deal. Yo. Alright. Let's open this up. So Abraham, what you got going on for New Year's dog? Yeah, really? Sounds like a blast. Alright. I probably should have took the trash out, but whatever. Alright, Abraham, you know the deal. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. Alrighty. Let's feel that Bowman's best. 14 teams left on that. Come on now. Why stop now? Box opened. <clears throat> See what I got. I'm assuming it's an Eagles player, Eric. Brady Patriots insert. Mayfield rookie. Oh, Lamar Jackson. Ah, there it is. Muhammad Sanu Falcons. Uh, 189. kids these days in their vernacular. Uh, Mr. Weineke, 189 Vikings. Nice. Sam Darnold autograph to 75 for the Jets. There you go, Scotty K. Very nice. He'll be fine. Lamar going to be all right. Trust me. Before you know it, watch. First playoff game, he's going to be sliding and running out of bounds. And then you're going to be like, damn, who is this Lamar Jackson? Playoff mode, Lamar Jackson, that's who. Ooh, a Drew Brees to five for the Saints. This is who I would like to win the Super Bowl. 
Either Drew Brees or Phillip Rivers. That's who I. That's who I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for Chargers Saints Super Bowl. Drew Brees Saints two thirty nine. Those are the elite inserts. Hit a couple autos of those before. Chase Edmonds Cardinals 239. You feel me, John? That's why I'm rooting for Rivers, man. He's never won one. And not for nothing. They got a pretty good team this year. I think they can do it. But they got a first uh, tough test against the Ravens, I believe. Ravens Chargers. In the wild card, I think. That is Gordon Eagles rookie. The Texans also in the playoffs. Man, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Cam Newton Panthers downtown insert. Marcus Davenport Saints to twenty-five. Dallas Golder Eagles to ninety-nine. The Eagles made the playoffs. That's that's actually I wouldn't mind if they won the Super Bowl too back to back. That would be a great story. They weren't even in the playoffs. They had to depend on another team to get them in. And they win the Super Bowl? That'd be a great story. So what are the matchups? Do the do we know the matchups? Obviously all the games have been played, so we should know the matchups by now. Cowboys Seahawks. Is that, but well, well, who's playing at home? My man Ryan Melton out of nowhere. Hey Ryan, you want to buy out the, the rest of Bowman's best? Or maybe buy out the case of Dynasty Baseball? Yeah, that would be nice. Anyway, my man says Bears at Eagles. There's no way. There is no way the Bears are playing at Eagles. When the Eagles had to depend on the Bears to win. I think that's backwards. I think it's Eagles at Bears. Cowboys. Cowboys are at home. So it's Seahawks at Cowboys. Eagles at Bears. He didn't buy anything out, Michael. I'm just talking shit. Eagles at Bears. Hawks at Cowboys. Woo! Bears fans are going to like this, but I'm going for the Eagles. I'm rooting for the Eagles because I like an underdog story. And low-key, I've always been a fan of the Eagles since back in the day. When uh, when Andy Reid had them boys go into four straight NFC championships. So I'm rooting for the Eagles against the Bears. Cowboys, Seahawks at Cowboys. I think I'm going to root for the Cowboys on this one. Just because the Seahawks have had their time. Let's see what these Cowboys got. I like to root for the underdog. We got Marcel Aitman of the Raiders to 199. Dude, the Eagles used to have some squads back in the day, bro. And I've always been a huge fan of, of, uh, of my boy Brian Dawkins, one of my favorite players watching growing up. Uh, I remember you guys had this guy uh, named Westbrook. Westbrook, you had Donovan McNabb. Man, you guys had squads, bro. Jared Goff of the Rams to 149. Then they had Deshaun Jackson, Mike Vick. 
Yeah, Eagles, Eagles had some fun teams. Ooh, Eric, I like your style. Vic Beasley Jr., 299 Falcons. Marino, come out to play. Calvin Ridley of the Falcons to 50. Very nice. You know, we, we like to do things backwards in the States, uh, Frank. You know, as we say here in, in America, we like to fuck shit up. Alvin Kamara, Saints, 199, rookie there. Yeah, so far the autographs have been decent. Calvin Ridley, Falcons, 299. Let's hope for a hot case here. The explosive Adrian Green Bengals, man. They need to trade, they, they need to blow up that Bengals team, man. AJ Green's talents are going to waste out there in Cincinnati. You know, send them to the Packers or send them, you know, somewhere where his, his talents would be uh, maximized. Like AJ Green to the Titans, you know, the Titans could use a, a wide receiver. Russell Wilson, Seahawks, downtown insert. Downtown inserts are so sweet. Or send AJ Green to the Dolphins, man. We could use a number one receiver, too. We don't really have one. We need a lot of help, though, the Dolphins. Aiden Hurst, Ravens, 99. I'm a big fan of A.J. Green, man, but his talents are going to waste in Cincinnati. I think he's a top three receiver in the NFL, really. Michael Gallup. Dude, I would love Le'Veon Bell to the Dolphins, honestly. I would, and not for nothing, I think we could get a pretty good deal for him. Considering this past, you know, fiasco that he's been dealing with. But, yo, I would definitely love to have Le'Veon Bell on my team. I think he'd be a great fit. He can run, catch, block. He can do everything on the field. He'll play for us if we pay him, John. And that, that was the thing with... Uh, with the Steelers is that he he wanted to get paid and he felt like the franchise tag, you know, was a slap in the face. And another thing is, yeah, one auto per box, Eric. Uh, and you know the the thing with this with the. With the Steelers, Steelers are known to not play, uh, not pay their players. Whereas the Dolphins are known for overpaying <laughs> for their players. So in that scenario, I think it'll work out. Oh, but oh no, no, I don't know, Scotty, I don't know. Where where were you? When James Conner was balling. Oh, they don't need Le'Veon Bell. They got James Conner. Oh, they're going to be all right. They're going to make the playoffs. But, oh, but now that the season's over and the Steelers didn't make the playoffs, and now people are coming out saying, oh, if only Le'Veon Bell had played. Nah, I don't want to hear that. I want you to keep that same energy. James Conner, James Conner, James Conner. Yeah, James, keep, keep that same energy. Can't put, can't put the blame on Le'Veon, man. Yeah, 
Now, Scotty, I got to call you out on this one. Weren't you the one that said, thank God we got Connor because we don't need Le'Veon Bell now? It was somebody. Somebody said some blasphemous stuff like that. Talking about James Conner better than Le'Veon Bell. Not even close. I don't know if it was you, Scotty, but it was some, somebody said that. You're just lucky that I smoke so much that I just don't remember shit. So you, you got away with that one. But somebody said it. You know who you are. All right, Devontae Void, Bengals, 299. Danny Etling, the new Tom Brady to 99 for the Patriots. Oh, Saquon is the real deal. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Watch out for Darius Geis, though. Darius Geis. Gonna be, gonna blow up next year. Fair enough, Scott. I don't care what fool they got back there. They get they get fucked up. I'm a Kamara Saints explosive. The real question is, who's gonna sign Kareem Hunt? <laughs> Who is gonna sign Kareem Hunt? Somebody's gonna do it. The question is who? I bet the Raiders do it. Blake Bortles, Jaguars, to 149. Larry Fitzgerald, Cardinals, 299. Hopefully he keeps playing. Darius Guy's going to surprise a lot of people next year when he comes back healthy to 199. Hey, speaking of Kareem Hunt for the Chiefs to 189. Luke Falk, Titans, 99. Malik Jefferson, Bengals, the Velocity Refractor, or Variation, whatever. Oh, Dolphins, 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 Dolphins. What are we going to do? Nothing, that's what. Uh, dude, it's so simple. Honestly, I got it mapped out. Just how I mapped it out for the University of Miami. And I called it, too. Did I not say last Thursday, I said, Coach Rick needs to retire. He did just that. Manny Diaz should be our head coach. And he did just that. I am a prophet, people. I am a prophet. So hear me now. Dolphins need to get rid of Mike Tannenbaum. He's probably the worst general manager in the history of that position. Get rid of him. Keep Tannehill. as a backup and pray that like Kyler Murray decides to play football or something and we can draft him or pick up Joe Flacco you know make a move for Flacco or make a move for Bortles I heard that uh, Teddy Bridgewater might be available that'd be nice I actually really like Teddy Bridgewater Yes, that's what I'm afraid of, John. That's what I'm afraid of. And honestly, if I was his parents, I would tell him to do the same. There's way more money in baseball. And uh, your body doesn't take nearly as much of abuse as it would if he played football.
The question is, is he good enough to make it to the majors? Not for nothing. This is probably blasphemous here. But I'm just going to throw this out there. I think it's easier to get into the NFL than it would to get into the into the Major League Baseball Association. Dude, Christopher, I, I, I'm a big fan of Teddy Bridgewater. I used, I used to watch him at Louisville. He's a Miami boy. Born and raised down south here. So, man, it would be nice to see him uh, in a Dolphin uniform. Playing in front of his home, home state, home city. We got Kiki Kuti to 35. Texans autograph. Very nice. Really, Christopher? Or are you bullshitting? That's impressive. Quentin Nelson Colts, 149. Leonard Williams Jets, 299. Larry Fitzgerald Cardinals, 149. Matt Stafford Lions, 299. Naheem Hines Colts, 299. Eagles insert. I mean, yeah, of course. There's there's way more players in the MLB than there are in the NFL. Well, that's probably wrong, because there's there's like a 52 man roster in the NFL. And I don't think that's that's not even including the practice squad players. Antonio Brown of the Steelers. The downtown insert. Very nice. Justin Jackson of the Chargers, 299. Alrighty, moving along here. Whoa. That's true, Chris. That's true. NFL doesn't have a, a developmental league, or at least not, not to my knowledge, unless they're doing something with the CFL or something like that. Or oh, the XFL is coming around in 2020. What do you guys think about the XFL?
Of course I remember he hate me. Isn't he hate me, um, Rod Smith? That's one thing I remember that, that I really liked about the XFL was, you know, the nicknames and stuff. I don't really know how I feel about the whole run to the ball and whoever gets the ball first gets the, you know, possession first. I don't know. You know, but one thing I didn't know that the XFL did first before the NFL was, you know, those, uh, those sky cameras that they have, like above the field and stuff. They never had that in the NFL until the, the XFL introduced it and used it first. And then the NFL started using that technology. I thought that was a fun little tidbit. I don't know about the XFL though, y'all. I think that might be an epic fail. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? Joe Mixon Bengals. 149. Sammy Watkins, Chiefs, 299. Ito Smith, 1099. Falcons out of grass, so Falcons with two autos so far. Dalton Schultz of the Cowboys to 50. Melvin Gordon Chargers, 189. Nice. This is a good one right here. Baker Mayfield of the Browns, the downtown insert. I think those are selling for like. 80 to 100 bucks on the uh, on the bay last I heard so that you know more or less paying for the spot price that card right there nice John did you grade it or something or you just put it up Mike White Cowboys, two ninety nine. Dude, I did a break where I hit two, I think two or three of them in one case. It was pretty awesome. Richie James of the Niners, one ninety nine. Wrong stack. Peterson, MVP. Texans. I forgot Texans are. Who do the Texans play in the playoffs? It's a nice little dark horse team right there. Aaron Rodgers, come to Miami, dog. Oh my God, that would be so amazing. That I tried. I also did that. I put uh, three Barclays. That was you know good times. Texans, Colts. Ooh, I'm going for the Texans on that one. Well, John, are they in retail packs? Are the downtown inserts in the retail uh, variation of this stuff? I 
Ah, so that would yeah, that makes sense. Cardinals got the first pick in the 2019 draft. I wonder what pick the Dolphins have. Probably 15 or something. Dude, I don't even know, like, Cardinals need so much help, bro. Oh, my God. Cardinals need help everywhere. I think Rosen is, is a decent quarterback. I would say, you know, try to improve the O-line via the draft. If you can sign some players, too, that'll be nice. Maybe try to go for Le'Veon Bell if, for the Cardinals. Maybe even, I don't know, maybe Kareem Hunt, if you want, if you know, if you want those problems. Nick Bosa, isn't that that kid out of OSU? Ohio State. Ooh, a redemption. Could be big. Now that I think about it, I don't know anybody in college football that's like really like, oh my God, I want that guy. Terry Hill, Chiefs, 189. David Williams, Broncos, 189. Mega Fitzpatrick of the Dolphins to 25. Man, we need so much help. We did have a lot of injuries this year, though, but still no excuse. Odell Beckham of the Giants to 149. Leonard Williams of the Jets, 299. Kyle Aletta, Giants. Two ninety nine. All right, what's this redemption? Kiki Kuti, the rookie patch auto. Rookie patch autos, I guess you could consider the case hits about one per case. And there's the redemption for it. And that goes to the Texans. halfway there y'all yeah at least so far from what I've broken John every case of optic has had a rookie patch auto in it even one of them and it doesn't you know I've looked up the uh, cardboard connection or whatever it doesn't state that it's guaranteed one per case, but so far that's what it's been. It's a good thing that the downtown cards get, you know, are selling for some money. You know, because one auto per box in a 12-box case, kind of tough to get a hit. So at least if there's, you know, four to seven downtown inserts, it gives you uh, something else to look 
to look for. Was that Ryan? How, how does that work out? Mahomes had a deal with Hines or something? Didn't he throw for like 50 touchdowns or something? Gerv Smythe to 50 Dolphins rookie autograph. He got more playing time than Gesicki this year. Gesicki, I don't know, man. He he had too many drops, too many turnovers. Can't even block for his quarterback either. I don't know. I don't know about that guy anymore. But he's still young, so there's that. Melvin Gordon of the Chargers. That is number one of Ted. Wow. And he was two touchdowns away from doing so. Ain't that something? Dude, that kid threw for 50 touchdowns in his first season as a starter in the NFL. That is ridiculous. Avante Maddox, Eagles, 149. Baker broke the record for most touchdowns by a rookie. Trubisky, to the Indian Bears. Mika Fitzpatrick, Dolphins, to the Indian. The year's resolution, clean this office, man. Jesus. Earl Thomas Seahawks, 289. Probably going to be a Cowboy next year for real. And another Antonio Brown Steeler downtown card. I know, right, John? It's funny. I was talking about that earlier, too. You know, I was telling people at the beginning of the season, watch out for the Browns. And they were a tough team all year long. But I think I think they have the pieces to be a really really good team uh, for the next few years. Ronald Jones Bucks two ninety nine. You know maybe add another receiver, maybe another running back to go with Chubb. Browns might win the division in a year or two. Who knows? I like Greg Williams, so hopefully they keep him as their coach. And they're a young team, too. That's another thing to take into consideration is they're a young team. So they'll learn from all this. And hopefully get better.
I'm excited for college football next year, man. Coach Rick retired. You know, Manny Diaz, our defensive coordinator, who did agree to, to go to Temple as their head coach. He uh, reneged on that deal, and he's now going to be the head coach for the Hurricanes. And he's a Miami guy. So hopefully he can bring that, uh, bring the U back, baby. Because in a couple of years, we're playing Alabama again. And we need to be ready. Aaron Donald of the Rams. 149. How about the Rams? Nobody talking about the Rams anymore. Deshaun Watson, 299. I wonder what they're going to do in the playoffs. Jordan Wilkins, Colts, 299. Mike White of the Cowboys. The Black Velocity. Autographed to 25. Very nice. Jimmy G missed out the whole year, so that's something to look forward to as well. Derrick Henry, Titans, 299. Football's over for me, man. Dolphins fucking suck. But uh, I'll be damned if I root for any other, any other team. Jordan Atkins, 149 Texans. Tom Brady Patriots, MVP insert. The explosive Julio Jones. So we got four left and the rest of this one. We got Trey Quinn of the Redskins to 189. Alright, four left. What's up, Brian? It's the last day of the of the 2018, baby. So you know, you know, I had to get my fix. I'm not gonna be live until the first. You know, we're not doing any eBay breaks the 31st, but Jason claims to be uh, going live during the day. Personally, I don't think he's going to. I'm not going to be live uh, after I shut this thing down here tonight. So take advantage of your last bit of mojo for uh, Uncle Jesse 2018. Any New Year's resolutions? Nah, stop doing that bullshit. Nah, I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm either going to do something or not do it. I don't know about you guys, but like in Hispanic culture, we still do New Year's resolutions, but what we do is uh, we give out grapes. We give out 12 grapes. And each grape is a different month of the year. And you're supposed to make a resolution for every month. Like something you want to improve or whatever. As of the last few years... I just straight eat those grapes. Like, I don't even bother, like, lying to myself or anything. Like, whatever. I'm 
Let me enjoy these grapes. Jalen Samuel Steelers, 299. John says, I will not open any packs and then he goes to Walmart and fucks it up. You already know, Brian. Richie James of the Niners, rookie autograph to 99. What about you guys? You guys have any like uh, traditions or stuff you do for New Year's? My man drinks 12 different drinks, one each month of the ending year, and I try to theme each drink for that month. Are you for real? That sounds... I'm assuming 12 different, like, liqueurs, you know? Who are you supposed to give the grapes to? Well, well that's the, everybody gets grapes. Everybody gets grapes in the household. And then just you're just supposed to make a resolution for every month. You got 12 grapes... Each grape is a month, and, you know, while you eat the grape, you're supposed to think of, you know, what, you know, what, what you want to do for the New Year's, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a resolution or whatever. Mary Fitzgerald to 50 Cardinals. This has been a thing in my family since, since I can remember. You know, it's, it's just a thing we do for New Year's. You get 12 grapes, you know, every grape is a month, and you get 12 re resolutions. So as you eat the grapes, you think of the resolution, and boom. Devontae Adams of the Packers to 99. But I think I'm going to start doing what Ryan does. I'm going to drink 12 different drinks, one for each month of the ending year, and I try to theme the drink for that month. Hell yeah. So I think I'm going to be doing the melting route this year. I'm going to fuck shit up and get fucked up. <laughs> I can't get too fucked up, though, because I got to work on the first. And I use that term loosely. Devontae Parker, 299 Dolphins. So if you see me on the first and I'm just hung over, then you know I had a good time. Mike Hughes, Vikings, 199. Barry Sanders, MVP. Odell Beckham Jr., 299 Giants. Dude, I'm totally taking your thing, Brian. I'm not even joking. Yeah, well, John, believe it or not, it, it kind of is. Avante Maddox to 50 Eagles. It might not seem like it, but boy, it is work. It's a lot better than flipping burgers, for sure. For sure. <coughs> I used to have to, John. But not anymore. I put my foot down on that. I was getting, dude, I used to do that. Or like Earlier this year, I was doing that. You know, when we had lost, like, a bunch of our employees, we, we lost, like, half of our crew after the National. So, for a few months there, I was having to sort, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, hell no. So, I'd be in the office 14, 16 hours a day, dude. And I just, I hated life. Until I put my foot down. I ain't doing this no more. So I haven't started a break in months.
really John interesting I mean I try to do the same thing like I have all my base cards here I got inserts there I got rookies there I got numbered cards there I got my downtown inserts I got my autographs and whatever I get top loaded there so I you know I, I try to sort it as I can To help my sorters out, you know what I mean? Help them out a little bit. Yeah, before when I when I first started breaking, man, it was just a mess. So when you had to like actually sort it. You would have to go card by card. But now my sorters know like. Because I separate stuff with dummy cards too. So they know like. Okay this stuff I don't have to. I don't have to sleeve. This stuff needs to be sleeved. This stuff needs to be sleeved and top loaded. So. Uh, Brian the National this year. Is in Chicago. Or technically Rosemont, Illinois. Chicago is like an hour north of Rosemont. But yeah. It's in. It's in. Everybody says Chicago, so it's in Chicago this year, and it is the last the last week of July, the first month of August, I believe. Something like that. John, I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have to agree somewhat. I I, I definitely enjoyed Chicago, but I also had a lot of fun in uh, in Atlantic City, man. Had a lot of fun out there. No disrespect to the people from Atlantic City, but the city is fucking disgusting. But the, the National was a lot of fun. Anthony Miller Bears, 189. Getting around was easy. Everything was like walking distance. Jordan Howard of the Bears, 189. Brian, hopefully, man. I mean, I haven't missed. I've been to about... I've been to three straight Nationals now. So... Hopefully I'll be there. I'll be there as well. I think so. I don't think we've missed a national uh, since you know we've been breaking. So definitely gotta be there. James White Patriots ninety nine. DeAndre Hopkins Texans two ninety nine. Eddie Elling Patriots, too, right now. You've never been where, Brian? Come on, I'm sorry. Freeman, Falcons, insert. Really, Brian? You've never been to the National? Well, you didn't hear from me. But uh, I might can get you in for the free. I got to random this card because she doesn't have a team. So, Brian, if you show up at the National, I'll get you in, player. But if you want to do, like, the VIP experience and all that other, then you're on your own there. Antonio Callaway, 149 Browns. If Rara's watching, Rara could tell you. Wow, there you go, Brian. There you go. You're on the up and up. All right, what's this redemption? It is Kalen Balazs, rated rookie autograph hollow for the Dolphins. Now, a lot of people were saying, like, oh, I'm going to the National in Cleveland. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. One month before the National, oh, man, you know, my cat just died. You know, I don't really think I can, you know, oh, I don't know, man. So we'll see. Hey, Brian, you do that. Listen, that is that is the weight of my heart. That and, you know, just good old regular peanut M&M's. 
But the green M&Ms, mm, got me salivating, dog. All right, two boxes left. All right, I'm actually, I'm trying to cut down the greens. Oh, I would like to start doing like the cartridges and stuff. It's not, it's nowhere near the same. But I have a lot more freedom with that. I still get, I still get the effects more or less. But you know, I can do it at the Outback Steakhouse in front of the waitress without, you know, her being like, uh, you can't do that. Yes, I can. It's a vape. Well, Christopher, listen, like I, tell, like I tell you all the time, don't threaten me with a good time. All right, TCU, let's see if I can get you a nice little line. A little, uh, who's the line? Carry on, Johnson? Carry on, Johnson? That guy's a beast. Uh, Brian, that's going to be like probably all 12. I'm just going to eat all 12 grapes. Just all at once. Cartridges are nice. I, you know, I like that because I'm, I can go anywhere, literally anywhere, and I'm smoking, and they don't know that it's, you know, that it's the magic stick. I know, but they don't. Why are your eyes low, Jesse? I don't know, bitch. I'm tired. Leave me alone. All right, box 11. Love you belt. Steelers insert. That's the wrong stack. Calvin Ridley of the Falcons. Two ninety nine. James White Patriots to fifty. You got an eagle autograph, Dallas Godert to 125, the autograph. Troy from Magali, Broncos to 99. Drew Brees of the Saints, two ninety nine. A Carson Wentz Eagles downtown, nice. There you go, Eagles. And it's got the and it's and it's got the old uh, the, the old bird on there. What what is that? The Super Bowl trophy thing, like the stand too. That's kind of cool. The Liberty Bell. They should have they should have put like the Fresh Prince or something back there. That would have been dope. Or Rocky or something. Anyway. Yes. Odell Beckham Jr. of the Giants, ninety nine. Look at that. Ending the year on high notes. Uh, Carson Wentz, Eagles 199. I want some chicken wings. The Traquan Smith 199 Saints. I need to buy some. Get the grill on. Get put to turn the grill on for the new years. Wrong stack. Dang it. You did call it, Christopher, you know. 
Cardboard Moses' powers are uh, at, a, uh, at, a, at are at an all time peak right now. Alrighty, last box Mojo. Let's see what we got, yo. All right, first of all, how many downtowns we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sheesh! That's the most I've seen in a case so far, personally. That's a lot of downtowns, man. Gee. All right, we got one more box to go. Let's see what we got. The downtown, Brian? Yes, very much so. Very much so. And if you get the right player, you can sell it for a few hundred bucks. Or a hundred bucks. Like, for example, this Baker Mayfield could probably sell for about a hundred dollars. So, I would make, I would think that's desirable, yes. Gotcha, Brian. Well, that's going to be one of the first grapes you eat is uh, I will break football with Uncle Jesse for 2019 and beyond. Oh, yeah, the basketball ones the, from downtown, those were uh, case hits. And uh, what was that product again? I can't remember the name of the product, but... K. Wade with good advice. Sell them all you can. Oh, it was the same thing, Optic Basketball? Fair enough, fair enough. They had them in another. They had them in another product too, though. Was it unparalleled? I'm trying to remember, but I can't right now. Last box mojo. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a hit. Let's see what I can do for you. Khalil Mack of the Bears, $2.99. Levy on Bell Steelers insert. Carry on Johnson Lions. Uh, Variation there, the velocity variation. Not numbered, but cool looking card. Deron Payne, 189 Redskins. Avion Bell, Steelers, 149. Marshawn Lynch, Raiders, 189. Lee Vander Ace of the Cowboys, 299. Are they really? Nice, John. I didn't know that. Shaquem Griffin. Seahawks rookie. Nick Chubb of the Browns. 299. Royce Freeman, the Broncos autograph to 99. There you go. Cornerstones basketball. That's another that that's where those uh downtowns were at first too. 
The downtown inserts were in Cornerstone Basketball this year, too. They were case hits in Cornerstones. That's where I remember them from. It took me a while, but I got it. And that's going to do it for the break. Alrighty. So there's one thing we need to random, and that is the Chloe Kim card. We're going to go 11 times in the random. Chloe Kim doesn't have a team, so we're going to give her one. Just going to copy all the teams I got here. Come to the randomizer. Blow that up. Paste it. And here we go. 11 times. Top team gets Chloe Kim. Who is Chloe Kim, Uncle Jesse? Well... There is plenty to do in Kim's native Southern California with a pair of NFL teams in town. Sunny beaches and snow-capped mountains, Kim spends most of her time hitting the slopes as she is a uh, snowboarder, Olympic gold medalist too. It showed at the 2018 Winter Games her popularity soared while snowboarding to gold in the half pipe. Ha! Huh. I'll give her a full pipe though. Anyways, 11 times here. And the money shot 11. 11 times. And the Eagles fly. Eagles fly. You're a fan of the Eagles now, Chloe Kim. And I will hear nothing of it. Alright, so we random Chloe. And she is now an Eagles fan because Uncle Jesse said so. There you go. Wrote all over her face. Oh, what? You already know. Anyways, uh, recap time. So, lowest number parallels. We got a Melvin Gordon gold for the Chargers, which is numbered 1 of 10. And we got a green Drew Brees for the Saints, which is 5 of 5. All right. Downtowns. We got Baker Mayfield Browns, Carson Wentz Eagles. Antonio Brown Steelers, not once but twice. Russell Wilson Seahawks. Cam Newton Panthers. Cool looking cards there. And now the autographs, because I know that's what you want to see. So we got Royce Freeman Broncos, 99. Goder Eagles, 125. A redemption for Kalen Bellage of the Dolphins. Richie James Niners, 99. Mike White Cowboys, 25. Durham Smythe Dolphins, to 50, a Kiki Kuti rookie patch auto redemption for the Texans, which would be the case hit. Ito Smith Falcons 99, another Kiki Kuti Texans 35, Danny Edling Patriots 99, Calvin Ridley of the Falcons to 50, and Sammy D, Sam Donald Jets autograph to 75 to finish the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it right out to you.